Yellowstone Volcano. Eruption could trigger volcanic winter and cause mass starvation. Yellowstone's last major eruptions were 640,000 years ago, 2.1 million and 1.3 million years ago. Dr. Kilburn, a professor at University College London and expert in volcanic hazards, has explained exactly how a volcano can produce what is referred to as a volcanic winter. Speaking to Express Co UK, Dr. Kilburn said, it's the sort of thing that if we ignore it could be total devastation in the area around the volcano itself. When you have these consequences you have a volcanic winter and then you have crop failures. There would not be enough food to feed the population. There will be mass starvation. The volcanologist cited the Toba catastrophe theory around 75,000 years ago and spoke about the consequences of the large-scale eruption. He referred to claims there was a volcanic winter following the Toba eruption and that, as a result, the Homo sapiens were almost wiped out. Dr. Kilburn continued, the caldera forming eruptions are explosive and they can send out gas and fine particles of polarized magma up into the stratosphere. And when you are talking of eruptions of the size of Yellowstone, Yellowstone has produced eruptions of more than 1000 cubic kilometers. The volcanologist explained the science behind a volcanic winter and added, the amount of material that these fine particles of ash and dust and gases which can form aerosols, as a result of which, the amount of sunlight reaching the surface of the earth drops and, as a consequence of that, it will trigger what is called a volcanic winter in that the temperatures never get a chance to recover. So you go through winter, the ash veil prevents the sun from warming up the earth seasonally so you just get continued winters which might trigger, ultimately, extensive ice coverage. The most recent eruption occurred 70,000 years ago when lava flowed on the Pitchstone Plateau. USGS says Yellowstone's volcanic and hydrothermal history suggests the potential for various kinds of eruptions in the future. If Yellowstone were to erupt, it is likely to produce lava flows of basalt or rhyolite rock. The latter could produce significant volumes of volcanic ash and pumice. Full stop. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.